Julia's on Broadway is the longest running drag cabaret theater in Seattle, celebrating their 24th year of production. And today we are joined with Versace Doll and Charlie Foxtail to talk all about their upcoming shows. Thanks for coming in. Hello. Hello. Of course, Thank you. These yeah. outfits are Amazing. everything. I, there's just so many beautiful yeah. details. We're boring. We're boring. We're boring. We're boring. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. Um, Versace Doll, I want to ask you a question because you are known as the Seattle Medusa. <gasps> I love this. Uh, and I know you've performed everywhere. So we're talking like New York, Las Vegas, even Dublin, Ireland. Oh. Talk to us kind of about how Versace Doll was born and what kind of message you want to send as a black transgender entertainer. Of course. So originally from Birmingham, Alabama. I don't like to tell anybody, but y'all are my friends. So I'll <laughs> tell you that. Yeah. Um, but I started doing drag about six years ago. And my late drag mother, her name is Tanisha Cassidyne. She's a former continental, former everything you could think of. And pageantry is something that I hold dear to my heart. And she taught me a lot of things about being myself. She taught me how to love myself, accept myself. And that's kind of what the foundation for Versace Doll is. For me, it's about loving myself, loving my art form, which originated from theater, and then getting into all of the stages across the nation. So that way I can spread love, spread my um, my happiness and my drag all across the nation. Beautiful. And now this question is for you, Charlie Foxtail. So you have been performing at Julia's on Broadway, which has been running for 20 plus years. Talk to me about the event that's coming up. Yes, thank you so much. So um, we have a lot of events coming up. The thing that I love the most about Julia's on Broadway is that they have a lot of different types of shows. They have um, shows called Lafoe, which is every Friday and Saturday. We have shows called Cirque to Talent, which features a lot of new performers. You can do things outside of drag, which is great. You can do singing, you can do you know live dancing, you can just really kind of bring whatever you want to bring to the stage. Um, what I love the most though is Ace of Queens, which is a weekly show that we're kind of doing now. It's on Thursdays and it's open to all ages. It's actually the only all ages um, drag show in Seattle, Washington, which oh, I really, hi. yeah, I love it. It's so much fun. It's a lot of um, it's a lot of work, but it's great. It's an amazing venue. It's an amazing show, and I really love it. Yeah, we wow. went to a drag show recently, and there was a little kid, she's probably three yeah. years old at our table. Having a like, blast. This kid has yeah. cool Everyone parents. Everyone was having fun. <laughs> I love that growing up. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, a little bit of a more serious question. Yeah. You know, in the news, some drag shows have been banned across the country. Tennessee just passed this bill into law last week. What do you kind of want people to know about drag shows and trans visibility? So, piggyback on what Charlie just said, um, we do have Ace of Queens, which is the only all ages drag show and the thing about that is i feel like right now everyone's trying to attack drag entertainers yeah. and they forget that drag entertainers are multifaceted we're able to um, gauge our audiences we're able to adjust how we perform just like beyonce gaga and so many other entertainers um, on a bigger platform and for me myself i'm i just try to spread love that's exactly what my foundation is about that's why i do what i do um, and luckily thankfully the owner of julius on broadway i've been working at julius for about three years and he strives and prides himself on being diverse. Um, and as a black transgender entertainer, you know, we aren't going anywhere. Drag queens have been here since Christopher Columbus came across. Mm -hmm. um, black transgender individuals are going to continue to fight. And just like we did in 1969 with Stonewall, if that's something that we need to do again, that's something we can definitely do because I feel like people um, whenever, years ago, whenever they had all of these other crazy laws passed in Alabama, and that's originally where I grew up from, um, it wasn't about the water fountains. It wasn't about all of that. Right. It was about a bigger picture. And right now with drag entertainers, I feel like it's about a bigger picture. But the thing about queer individuals and trans individuals, we're not going anywhere. We're going to continue to spread love and be ourselves. Beautiful. And Charlie, we want to hear, Charlie Foxtail, we want to hear from you about what drag means to you as well. Drag is amazing. Honestly, it's something that I never thought that I would do in a million years. Um, I went to a brunch one day and I had a bunch of drag queens tell me that I have, you know, like a pretty face for it and that I should try it. Um, I tried it. And you do. Uh, thank oh, you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. Sparkle on the I know. That highlight. Thank you. I hope the camera reads it nice. Yes. <laughs> um, but it's amazing. I love it. It's something that I feel like can really give me the ability to express my femininity and um, I can just really be myself and show the world that you can't be afraid. You don't have to be afraid to be who you are and just go out there and enjoy your life. It's that easy, honestly. Absolutely. All right, so we are actually going to get a really fun sneak peek of an upcoming performance. So take it away. I'm ready. Yay. And I am
Jennifer Holiday, everything she knows. Oh, yes. of course, of and course. That's, you know, I, I love doing what I do. Yeah. And this I is a little bit of a warm up because you're hosting the Pride Parade this year. Absolutely. So, in addition to Dealers on Broadway, um, every single weekend coming up, we have the Seattle Pride Parade, which is all ages. It's not going anywhere. So, come on out. You'll see me put on more corsets and more things <laughs> and lose our breath and just celebrate. Um, life, no matter who you are, no matter what you love, come on out to Seattle Pride Parade. We're going to have a good time. Beautiful. Versace doll, Charlie Buxtail. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you can catch their upcoming shows at Julia's on Broadway and Capitol Hill. We do have a link with more information on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio 13 live. Yay! Amazing. Thank you. And thank Amazing. you so much for having us. I truly really appreciate it. Oh, so fun. All right. Coming up, Sweet Radish is joining me in.